Sway Krupp, welcome to Thailand News Today, coming to you from the great outdoors. Just looking up to the skies, uh, it's a little bit overcast. Well, actually, it's quite overcast, but not any rain at the moment and no significant wind, which is allowing us to record outdoors. A lot better off than the people in the middle of Vietnam, which are being hit by a typhoon today. We'll get to that story soon. But in the meantime, here's the latest happening around Thailand. From next February, motorbike riders around Thailand will be required to pass a different exam and do special training if they want to get a driving license for a big bike. From February 19 next year, anyone with a bike over 400cc will need to attend additional training sessions and take a test in order to comply with the law. What has not been made clear at this stage is whether foreign riders in possession of a big bike licence from their home country will also be required to take the test. The latest word about Thai politics and the protests and the Thai PM says he will not resign, saying at this stage he has no intention of abandoning the country. Addressing Parliament, Prayut Chanachar pointed to the current problems facing Thailand, including the political divide in society, the crisis brought on by the slowdown of the economy and the dangers of a COVID-19 resurgence. He said, you should think back to the political rallies in 2006 and 2014 when the ones in power also did not resign. I refuse to comply with the proposals that do not represent the needs of the majority of the people and will not run away from problems or abandon the country during a crisis. He went on to say, the political rallies could undermine the confidence in our economy, but what worries me is that it could cause a rift in Thai society. Meanwhile, an opposition party MP has slashed his arm in front of officials in Parliament in protest at the treatment of the country's political activists. Wisan Tekatirawat, a party member of the opposition Per Thai Party, says the gesture was his own personal protest to oppose the government's action against peaceful protesters at a rally in the capital on October the 17th. Wisan slashed his left hand and arm three times on the second day of the joint parliamentary debate aimed at finding a way out of the current political impasse. Officials are reviewing the use of an ASQ, that's an alternative state quarantine hotel, in Samut Prakan after three foreign nationals have found to test positive to COVID-19. The first was a 57-year-old woman who developed symptoms of the virus after she had completed 14 days quarantine and returned to her home on the island of Koh Samui. Yesterday, two more foreigners staying at the same hotel also tested positive. All three are now receiving hospital treatment, but officials are still not sure how they became infected or if their cases are even linked. He added that the hotel, the Siam Mandarina, may not meet the required standard of an alternative state quarantine facility. Well, what's the situation with your visa? The next amnesty deadline is upon us, September the 31st. If you don't know exactly what your situation is, time to head down to immigration. Immigration officials are saying that late applicants will be fined no matter when your visa is extended, as long as it's before the deadline of October the 31st, it will go into effect on November the 1st and allow a 60-day stay. Since the recent amnesty period was put in place a few days ago after the initial September the 26th deadline, those who paid 1,900 baht for a 30-day visa extension last month are now allowed to stay until November the 30th, but they need to go to immigration to get a stamp with the new expiration date. Now, if you're unsure about your visa status, you should go to your local immigration office or speak to a qualified visa agent. Just briefly, 13 new COVID-19 cases have been detected in quarantine in Thailand. In the past 24 hours, four of them were Thai students returning to the country. The total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Thailand is at 3,759, with 3,561 recoveries and 59 deaths. 139 people are currently receiving medical treatment for the coronavirus. 
Well, it may not work in most countries, but it's certainly working well for this enterprising young Thai woman. The zombie saleswoman is selling dead people's clothes. 32-year-old Kanita sells the clothes of deceased people on a Facebook live stream whilst dressed as the living dead. She gives a story behind every piece of clothing, explaining how each person died. Perhaps it would be a real business kill in most countries, but not in Thailand, where the spirit world and superstition are just as real to some Thais as the world of the living. Traditionally in Thailand, clothes of the deceased are burned, she gets the clothes from a local temple. She says a monk does a blessing for the deceased before the clothes are given to her. The prices range from 10 to 100 baht, and some brand names and designer clothing are also sold at vastly reduced prices. She's donated some money from the sales back to the temple. In addition to the dead's clothes, Kanita sells handmade zombie dolls as you do. Kanita live streams each week from her home in the northern province of Betjabun. It takes up to three hours to apply her zombie makeup, but she says the costumes help draw in viewers. Flooding's already being reported in six provinces of northeastern Thailand. It's the result of a typhoon which hit Vietnam's coast today. Typhoon Malavi, I think that's how it's pronounced, has reached the Vietnamese coast just south of Da Nang and is slowly moving westwards toward Laos and then northeastern Thailand as it weakens. It's the fourth tropical storm to batter Vietnam since the 11th of October and the 9th since the start of the year. Well, that's our Thailand news today, coming to you from the great outdoors here in Phuket. We apologise again for any sound problems. We promise it'll be getting back to normal next week when I get back to the studio. In the meantime, have a fantastic Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.